be on it too. All right, here we are, another <laughs> week. Back at it. As you see, more than a foot, foot and a half inside of the house. All the way around. All the way around. So we get ready to get this room out. We so have to get this room. And we got help. And if we got help. We put out a call, you know, and um Guess who came to help us? North Carolina Baptist Association. The Baptist builders, the Baptist men and women. Um, that's who's here in order to help us. There's about 10 of them up in here. And um, as you see, we already gutted this area here. Already gutted it. Yeah, you see. They have to get this area out over here. As you see, even though there was no insulation in the wall, the mold was coming up right here. This is where it got at. Right here, um, that's where probably the right. start going crazy at. Right, you can see right there. As you see, it's more than a foot and a half inside the house. All right, this is the other part. Got gutted. As you see, make sure there's no mold behind the wall. So that's what we have to do. As you see, had to turn that off. Move the heater. That used to be the chimney, chimney area. All right, everything is gutted. I don't know if y'all remember how this, how the house looked, but this is what's going on. For those that's been out here before, to the hill and retreat on space. You see, everything had to be gutted. All right. It's the bathroom here, what used to be of it, as you can see. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we had to come up four feet in the house. Cause the water was a foot and a half to two feet high. So, as you see, look at all this stuff that's out here. These piles. This used to be the kitchen area. So, that's what's going on, y'all. This is serious. Blood came through. It was four and a half to five feet high. You can see this is more furniture and stuff that we had a place outside. Fire pile right here. And then, of course, more stuff. The wind completely destroyed. Completely destroyed the greenhouse, as you see, as well as also the shed. You know, so, yo, just, um, you know, send us the best wishes, the best, you know, sincere, you know, prayers, you know, bliss, etc., etc. And um, basically, you know, we're going to keep doing what we can, you know, get this thing back right. You know, Hurricane Matthew, you know, uh, allegedly broke the dam at Cape Fear River in the back, which is about less than a mile away from the house. 
came through, flooded the area up to about four and a half to, to five feet in some areas. Um, as a matter of fact, you can actually see how high it was by looking at the car. Walk over here right quick for y'all can see what we're talking about. All right, here go to here go to Honda Accord right here, which is completely gone. But you can see right here the water was up to here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's four. That's more than four feet. You know, in water. You know. That's that's um that's serious. That's serious. You know, so just imagine all of this land. You know, all this land right here, all this land back here, you know, this whole area was flooded. At least four and a half feet of water. You know. That's serious. That is serious. Coming from, specifically from, um, the dam breaking in the back due to Hurricane Katrina. I mean, excuse me, Hurricane uh, Matthew. Might as well say Katrina because it's the exact same thing that happened. You know. All right. Um, we keep everybody abreast on what's going on. All right, we out. Peace.